it depends on the position you in. Like, if my bills depend on a certain business, more than likely I'm not gonna do business with my friends. Only cause, you know, I can't really fire them. And if I hire somebody, I'm gonna want them to do something that they're good at. I'm not just trying to give somebody an opportunity to get a job and get a check and, you know, pay them to do something that they're just learning how to do. It's not beneficial to the overall big picture, you know. And then also, like, you know, friends sometimes tend to get it, become entitled just because of the friendship, you know what I mean? Like, because of the work they put in with you on a personal level, they feel they deserve a certain amount of room forever. Um, on a business level it's just hard you know but if you're doing something you know that's not um, where you're not dependent on it to pay your bills you know you could do something just for passion and for you know for fun like sometimes I do do business with my friends but it's not with any anticipation of making any money you know what I'm saying like it's like loaning your friends money you know you ain't getting that shit back you know what I mean it's like that It depends on how much business you want to do. You know, like me, I just want to do so much that every dollar goes back into the street. Like I just pay my bills and if I want to buy something, I'll buy it. But, you know, I'm generally trying to independently finance all my, all the things that inspire me without compromise. So every time I pay for, like I already know, I'm not holding no money. Like I already know how I'm spending my first billion. I'm gonna buy a football team. You know what I'm saying? Like I have no intention on holding any money. And the only way to get to a billion is to keep putting money back into the companies and flipping. And I'm gonna just be flipping my whole life. You know, that's just my game. As long as I got cash flow, I'm cool, you know? But I don't really believe in holding no money. I think that's for suckers. I mean, you gotta understand that he gonna have to lose some money for a little bit and be uncomfortable. You know, as long as you independent and there's a demand to buy a product, you're always going to be broke because you always got to keep buying. You got to keep buying inventory, you know, as long as somebody's uh, ordering. And if the orders get bigger, somebody, you know, you sell a million dollars worth of stuff and you got a two million dollar order. Now you got to go raise money to facilitate that order. So the bigger the company gets, the more you're going to have to spend. And also you have to collect the money to make more stuff. And sometimes people don't pay on time. So it's almost damn near impossible to like grow and be independent. You'll never make money. You'll always gotta put back into your company. So it's like, you gotta understand how you really making your money and how much tolerance you have for loss and you know, for building a brand. And then you get to like license it out or make money doing other ancillary things. Like one thing with the brand becomes a commercial and then all the other little things make money based on that commercial. But it almost takes, it takes years to build that commercial. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be able to sustain that loss, <clears throat> sustain that loss on a lot of levels. You know, it depends on how fast you have to make money. You know, while you're investing in one thing, something should be paying the bills. It's just getting that one thing kickstarted, you know? Some gotta pay the bills while you're building your brand. Stay calm, you know? Like if they start coming through and you ain't got nothing to hide, just be cool, you know? The government's really not trying to put you out of business. They're just trying to finance the country and the, the people finance the country. But like generally speaking, you know, if you gotta go through an audit, go through the audit. And if you're not making any money, it doesn't even make sense to pay your taxes. Because all they could take is your profit. If you keep investing money into your business, what they gonna take? You know what I'm saying? So you settle your taxes when you got the money to give them, when you have expendable income. Other than that, just hold your head and be calm. You know what I'm saying? People panic with the taxes. If you just flat out not paying your taxes, yeah, that's an issue. But if you're dealing with it, the government generally is a bit more tolerant because they know shit happens in business. You know what I mean? Like, to be honest, on the low, my biggest ally has been my, the government because them auditing my books, they've showed me who exactly has been robbing me. And they're also aware of who's been robbed, that I've been being robbed, that I'm a good dude. You know what I'm saying? And you know, when it's time, you just have to have patience. 
You have to be resilient and you just have to know that's just part of the game. Misunderstandings happen. You know, if you're intentionally breaking the law, yeah, you deserve what you get. But if that shit happens and it just came up on you just because of like negligence and just lack of knowing something because it's your first time doing it, you know, you'll feel anxiety because you don't know what's going on. You're in the dark, but just stay cool. It'll work itself out. Just be cool, get a good accountant and you just settle, man. You know, it's not a big deal.